Joe, mm. we talked about this. You need to wear pink for Laudate Sunday. It's liturgical colors, really cool. Is that all you have? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Little Way Sunday School. Now, have you ever met somebody and thought, there's something very special about that person? Well, a few years ago, we were traveling through Spain and we visited a group of nuns based in Barcelona. Now, these were Sister of Charity nuns, the same as Mother Teresa was, and they would spend all morning praying, the rest of the day cooking and feeding the poor and the homeless in Barcelona. Now, I remember these nuns, they had very few possessions and they had very little comfort in their day. Yet, I will never forget the joy that was radiating, beaming from their faces. Now, in today's gospel, Jesus reminds us that if we believe in him, we have eternal life in heaven to look forward to. But he also warns us that if we don't believe in him, we risk distancing ourselves from God in this life and in the next. So what does it mean to believe in Jesus? Well, it means to believe in what he has said. And what did Jesus say? Well, at the core of everything that Jesus said is the message to love God and to love others. And if we can do this, just like those sisters in Barcelona, our life will be filled with joy and peace and we will have eternal life in heaven to look forward to. Now, doesn't that sound like a pretty good deal? Padre's Corner Our priest this week is Father Derek McGillicotton from the parish of the Sacred Heart in his hometown of Belfast in the Diocese of Down and Connor. Father Derek enjoys walking, watching Doctor Who and is also a big fan of Lego. Thank you for joining us this week, Father Darroch. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, The Son of Man must be lifted up as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world not to condemn the world, but so through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When you're on a journey, you need to take a little break. Sometimes you're tired and you need a little glass of water or a snack to help you on your way. To give you a bit of energy, for the rest of it. Today is the fourth Sunday of Lent, Latare Sunday, and we take a little break in the middle of Lent. We ask God to give us energy and grace to continue on our pilgrimage. It's difficult when we are fasting in different ways. Maybe you've gone off sweets or fizzy drinks, and we can relax that 
just a little bit today. We, of course, continue with our good deeds and caring for others and especially reaching out to the poor. Today's the day when traditionally people returned to the church where they were baptized to say thank you to God. They would have gone to their mother church, as it was called, and would have gone to confession and received communion. And to say thank you, very often they would have brought flowers, especially roses, to Our Lady. But when roses were not readily available, instead they would have maybe got some rose vestments for the local parish, a way to honour God. And so because this is the day when people went to their mother's church, this became known as Mothering Sunday, and in time, Mother's Day. Maybe this morning you get up and help make breakfast in bed for your mummy as a way of saying thank you to her for all the love and care that she gives to you, for the way that she teaches you right from wrong, for the way that she makes sure that you're safe from harm. We give thanks that the Mother Church does that for us as well, that the Church nourishes us with God's Word and gives us guidance and example and witness and teaches us right from wrong. On this Latari Sunday, on this Mothering Sunday, may we give thanks to God for the way in which Mother Church helps us to grow in our faith. May we be a blessing, not just to our mums, but to all those around us as we journey towards the light of Easter, the light that gives us confidence and hope, the light that lets God's beautiful world be seen in all its glory, the light that allows our good deeds to shine out in the world. Amen. Mission Time! So as Father Darek just said, the church is our mother, which means fellow believers and Christians are our brothers and sisters. Now our Pope just came back from Iraq, a place in the Middle East where Christians have been persecuted for a long time. And all around the world, there's still Christians that are finding it very difficult. So our mission time this week is to pray for our brothers and sisters and for our mother church. So thank you everyone for watching. If you want to do the worksheet, it's in the description box below. And we hope to see you all again next week. Take care and God bless. Joe, it's Laudate Sunday. You have to wear pink or salmon. I don't like pink rain. Don't make a big deal about it. Just book on. Get a pink shirt. Sure. Why what has pink ever done to you? Why do you hate pink so much? Okay, You're always trashing it all the time. I'm sorry. That is diabolical behaviour. <laughs>